This is Topic Town, episode 27. Give me that up. The Continuity Error episode. Right, we're going to start off with me not being <laughs> correct. That's this, a huge continuity error. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you might notice something different about this Topic Town, and it is not Craig. Well, right. the... the, the uh, it's the the fact that there is not Craig. Yes. Okay. That's the, that's there. <laughs> this is David. Hi. David Wolf is a producer on the good stuff. And I've been a guest you, on Topic Town. Yeah, before. you've done this before. This is old hat. You know how this works. Right. We have the intro, and uh, we'll put David's face uh, over Craig's maybe. Yeah. Something. Or maybe we'll put like an X through Craig's face. That's nice. Um, because Craig, we don't know where he is. <laughs> right. He's gone. Yeah. It's, it's, he does this sometimes. <laughs> he just kind of just disappears. Yeah. For a while. Nobody knows, can't get in contact with him. Right. And he's just blown off some steam. That or he's in Indianapolis. Yeah. But why would he know. be there? Why, right. That's why would anybody go there? Ooh. Indianapolis. You're going to... Beautiful, 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 beautiful city in a beautiful state. All right. Okay, so this episode, we <laughs> with this episode we're um, going to talk about continuity errors in movies. And well, first, let's talk about movies. Because yeah. our next uh, episode of The Good Stuff is all about... The theme is seen isn't believing. Mm. And in one of those, in one of the videos, we're going to talk to a uh, cognitive scientist, Dan Simons, and where he s studies basically like the limits of our perception and like yeah. how we miss things. And basically, the reason that movies exist and videos and all this stuff that you know, the, the reason that you're able to watch what's happening right now is that there's basically a problem with our visual system right. <laughs> that, that allows that makes this you know this, this is a bunch of still images coming at you and it, but our brain makes it look we, like it we put it together yeah and it makes it look like it's moving. A moving it's an illusion image. basically yeah uh that our, our brain makes for us uh thanks, and so it makes brain. so it makes yeah well it, yeah thanks brain for not working correctly <laughs> so, right. so we can have we can enjoy <laughs> we can enjoy videos and movies um but one of the things about movies and i, I think since the advent of the internet this has become a big a oh big yeah thing yeah is movie errors and errors, continuity, continuity errors, mistakes, all yeah. sorts of things. Because there's a ton. Yeah, there's, there's okay. a ton of them. And what's interesting is um, some of the, like, there's there's a website we were looking at, moviemistakes.com, mm. which keeps track of all these mistakes. And if you look at the movies that have the most errors and mistakes, yeah. uh, it, what would you think? Like, what would you think? You would think it would be, like, some bad movie. Yeah, right? like, that low a, budget. <laughs> um, like, they didn't... They I didn't, mean, I don't know if you could count the errors in the room. That movie, if you've ever, ever seen that, but usually I, I would assume it would probably be something that was like a low budget, new director. You didn't know what they were doing, failing. right? Exactly. But if you look at it, the the top three uh, movies on this oh, website what are, they? are um, well, let's say, so we'll start with number three. Okay, is The Wizard of Oz. Oh, this is probably one of the most famous movies ever made. Yeah, and it <laughs> did has... they count an error that went black and white to color? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was like, what? yeah, that was a big mistake. Uh, that's interesting. I've never really noticed many, but I guess uh, I looked. But the, the, yeah, there's a ton. It's like 292 on this website wow. so far, um, and some of them are like uh, Dorothy's hair changes length in in a scene. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> um, they shot that later. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. They did some pickup shots or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, Number two is The Birds, another pretty famous movie. Oh, yeah, Hitchcock. Hitchcock movie. Um, and there's, I mean, there's a bunch of little stuff in there where, like, the uh, the wounds on um, the main actress's name, which is escaping right yeah, now. Yeah, right. Like, change, things like that. But even then, you'd think someone like Hitchcock would be pretty observant about it, stuff Yeah, you know, like he's that. a pretty well-known director. I've heard known, of him. <laughs> yeah, so. Known for making some pretty good movies. Yeah. And hmm. it's number two on this list wow. of most movie mistakes. Okay. Um, What's number one? And number one is Apocalypse Now. Okay. Um, another pretty uh, classic. classic movie. Yeah. Epic movie. And it has 463 uh, mistakes on this, uh, wow. on this website so far. Um, wow. And it, the thing about this is that like, there's a ton of mistakes in these movies. But these movies are all classics. There are tons of people who love these movies and it doesn't, doesn't seem to matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that, yes. I think that's because most, most of the time when you're watching a movie, you don't notice them at these mistakes. Or, you know, if you do, the movie itself is engaging enough or what's happening sort of distracts you from that mistake. So you just kind of move on. But I wonder, like, if it, because it's a good movie, do we just let them slide a little bit more? I'm, I'm thinking back specifically to a moment uh, when Pearl Harbor came out. Mm -hmm. I remember, I remember even seeing it on television, maybe someone making fun of it on television, that, like, 
and one scene her scarf changes mm -hmm. completely to a different scarf and everyone was like oh man what a terrible movie Pearl Harbor was <laughs> and they couldn't even get the scarf right well I, I and that's think, such a basic error like it's okay <laughs> I think if the movie had been better nobody would have cared about that scarf right right interesting uh, or it, Apocalypse it, Now 400 <laughs> yeah yeah they, nobody thinks of Apocalypse Now as being this movie with a ton of movie mistakes in it right um, it's pretty much right. universally acknowledged as like a, one of the classic war films. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Francis Ford Coppola. Pearl Harbor is not considered one of the classic <laughs> no, war no, films. <laughs> not, not at all. Um, but it's an interesting way, like, you can have all these mistakes, and the, the, but basically people will accept them. They, yeah. We um, basically don't care, and most of the time won't notice them uh, if, you know, yeah. if when we're watching the movie, because... I, you know, we just don't, I, we're not really fixating on that stuff. But now that there's internet and, you, and there's DVD and you can like go through a movie Pause, and watch it. zoom frame, in, enhance. And, and watch it over everything. and over. You can see these mistakes and then you can, you know, catalog them on the internet for everybody to, to look at. Laugh at later and stuff. Um, and a couple movie errors that I want to bring up that uh, people have noticed okay. and might not be movie errors. The, or these people have justified them. Okay. All right. It's one in, in Empire Strikes Back. There's been this controversy about when Han Solo is about to get frozen in carbonate. Yeah. Uh, it seems that he goes from wearing just a white shirt to wearing his vest and going back. His vest basically appears and disappears. Okay. It looks like, anyway. I, d I don't remember ever seeing that, actually. So um, I missed that. And I've seen this, this argument on the internet for a long time. Yeah. And it looks like an error. Like, oh, he the, somebody forgot to take his vest off or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> or if he forgot to put his vest back on. Um, but it, apparently, there's behind-the-scenes footage of, oh. of the scene. Oh. And you can see that he's only wearing the white shirt but when he walks into a certain light, like a certain light, it looks like he's wearing the vest. Really? Yeah. So it wasn't it an is, error. It, it wasn't an error. It looks like one, but it isn't. Okay, I'm going to go watch Empire Strikes Back. And uh, another one <laughs> is, this isn't so much a continuity error as, it's it's as, I don't know, it's just sort of a plot hole. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but in Jurassic Park. Uh, I know what you're going to talk about. In right <laughs> the when the T Rex escapes, yeah. Um, at the sort of end of the that scene, mm -hmm. it, the T Rex pushes the car and over a giant cliff. Yeah. Uh, Lex and Alan Grant are climbing down this huge cliff. It's like uh, you know, it's like looks like it's a hundred feet, right? Hundred foot drop it's or a good something. Scene. But how did where did that come from? How did the T Rex get out? I've, of, I've always wondered that too. <laughs> get because out he was of, there eating the goat. Yeah. And then he crawled out, and then all of a sudden, there's just this giant. Cliff, yeah, like you said, where yeah, did that looks, come from? It looks like maybe that you know, they wanted some sort of suspense, you know, so they just kind of said, okay, now there's going to be this thing. <laughs> this here. could be a cliff, <laughs> <laughs> so that they have to climb down and they have to get out of the way of the falling car. Yeah, but the internet. Oh, okay. The, the internet, internet has through. has there's somebody made this uh, diagram of like a sort of an over overhead view of the diagram. We'll put it we'll up put, here. Yeah, okay. Uh, and you'll see that the T Rex comes out of the of the its paddock. Uh, on one area, kind of in between the two cars. Yeah. And then it sort of pushes the car to this other area where there's like there's a drop off. That's like basically the goat feeding area is right area is right next to um, a drop off. A drop off, and it pushes the car over the drop off. So like, it, it works. You but can, is this can... like an official? Did like Steven Spielberg draw this up? No. Or is this like fan no, created? This, this, this is fan created. Um, it made it seems it's plausible that this could work. It's plausible, I guess. I still feel like it was. Uh, partly the fault of the filmmakers who should have edited it better or given the audience a better awareness of the area. Because I st even if this was what the case was, yeah. they should have realized when they were editing it together, like, wait, wait, this might be confusing considering they just crawled out of there. Yeah. But I, I appreciate that someone put the effort forward uh, to do this and even added a bunch of trees and Yeah, nice it's, it's, really, it's, a nice, it's a nice diagram. It is a good diagram. And really, it really uh, sells it. So again, maybe a mistake, maybe not a mistake. It's debatable. Um... And a class, I think one of the best ways to see errors in films is in fight scenes and big fight scenes, especially oh, when it's yeah. like, especially yeah. like Batman when Batman's fighting a group of people. Often you'll see in the background, and this is, I think is sort of an illustration of what some of the Dan, Dan what Dan Simons talks about in our upcoming video. Yeah, definitely. Is uh, how we don't really notice will notice things in the background. If we're you know if we're just if we if we're like focusing on something in 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 the front, we won't notice that like. There's like there's just some ninjas like just doing this like <laughs> yeah. To nothing yeah oh there's the Dark Knight I think in the Dark Knight Rises like one of them falls over without <laughs> it's just like sort of dancing by himself and then kind of falls over <laughs> without but I think you, know, I, I, you can look back at the scene too at the very end when uh, Batman is uh, fighting Bane it would be distracting if we noticed all the 
police officers fighting with other thugs. Like, if we yeah. definitely were, like, paying attention to them, because you're not supposed to be. You're supposed to be paying attention to the scene right in front of you. I'm mm -hmm. sure a lot of them are probably just doing, like, this <laughs> to each other, but... Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, the only reason that movies work, basically, is because we don't get distracted by that right. stuff in the background. And, you know, movies both utilize our inability to see that kind of thing, and... And they really only work because we can't see we can't see everything. Yeah, that's that's a good thing, I guess. Um, and I think, you know, uh, we can wrap this up with: Are there any movies with no mistakes in them? We we did some research before this, and I you... thought there was for a while. It's interesting because I remember years ago I had looked this up. I think on the same website, and for a while the Christopher Guest movie Waiting for Guffman had no mistakes in it. It was listed as having no mistakes, but they've since found two, which is really interesting. And now we only found I think one other. Yeah. So in our in our exhaustive research uh the one movie we could find that didn't have any mistakes listed on the internet as far as we could tell was the girlfriend experience by uh steven soderbergh okay uh that might be be because of the way the movie is structured and the way it's sort of it's a non-linear tale it's sort of unconventional in the way it's edited sure so it, it can get around being discontinuous because the the movie itself is sort of discontinuous. I haven't seen it, but not, I'm kind of curious now. And now I just want to watch it to find an error. Well, yeah. <laughs> like maybe the, somebody in the audience out there can watch The Girlfriend yeah. Experience. Um, careful. It's got some adult themes in it. Oh, but uh, watch it, see if you can find any mistakes. Or what are some of your favorite movie mistakes yeah. that have happened? Let us uh, know. I think my favorite, obviously, is the classic, the one from Star Wars, A New Hope, when the stormtrooper bangs his head. head. That's it's, always good. You know what's interesting about that is because it, when it first started, it was... Uh, just, you know, it, in the background. Yeah. Um, and on the special edition, George Lucas uh, had, uh, or I don't know who did it, whoever did the special edition added like like a oh, really loud yeah, uh, banging sound. Um, and I think it's been it's been slowly emphasized through each, each, uh, you each know, new, new release of iteration it. It keeps of happening. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was a mistake that they really, really liked. It's a good right. mistake. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let us know some other ones that we should watch out for that are funny, interesting, or... Yeah. Whatever. Uh, so next week, next Monday, uh, yes. the first the first video of our Scene Isn't Believing playlist is coming out. Which I'm um, so excited for, yeah. by the way. And uh, just so you know, it's going to be, we mentioned this in the last topic down, but we're going to say it again. We're changing up the format a bit. Um, there's, still, there's still four videos in the playlist, but yeah. each video is going to come out once a week. Yes. So next week there'll be one video, and the week after that the next video, and the week after that. So they're kind of like video. a playlist month now yeah. on one theme or topic. Yeah, and if you're a Patreon supporter, you will get the entire playlist on uh, this week. They yeah, you'll get, get it early, early still. Yeah. Patreon supporters uh, at a certain level will still get early access, so you need to get the entire thing. thing. So if you like watching it all at once, which really is the only way to see it, it's the truest form. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the truest form. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's the, each video works on its own, and it'll yeah. work as a month. But you know, like some people just like that. You know, being able to take it all in at once, like binge, just binge watching. Power through. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a big thing. That's so the, yeah, it's the Netflix. So it's thing. still possible if you haven't checked it out. Patreon page. Get yeah. There. Well, anyway, I think that's, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, we find Craig. Yeah. Eventually. But otherwise, I mean, it was good. It was good having you here, David. Yeah, appreciate it. We'll do a little handshake. Yeah. There we go. Uh, watch movies because our brain is broken. And yeah. <laughs> that's why we can't appreciate the brokenness of our brain. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.